Hi guys, Dave Gaming here. Welcome to Entwined. It's a game announced last night at E3 and released straight away. It's like seven euros nine nine dollars on PlayStation Network. It's a game developed by an uh, indie team. It's the first game, I think, if I remember well. So here we are playing it. To, to, it's already after you pass the mission. This is the ending bit to the mission. You have to collect these little balls here, like these mana kind of things, whatever they are, to fill up the green bar. You'll see me doing it here, going for them slowly. It's a cool little game, but it really annoys. Uh, and one thing that could be that is annoying for me is how you only control the two sticks, dual shot, you know, the two two thumbsticks. It's not a, a good combination for a game. So here we are, L1 and R1 to do this uh, kind of that one thing. I don't know what this is. Almost like a portal underneath. You will see. Here opens up the portal. It's got uh, it's a, uh, instead of levels, it's got a thing called lives. It's just, yeah, it's literally it says nine lives, nine lifetimes, nine lives, something like that. So we opened up the the portal thing. So now we're gonna go through it to the next level, the third life. Played a bit of the game. It's uh, kind of cool. But uh, yeah, so we go through this portal as you'll see. It's a cool game, but as I said, the only problem about it is that dual thumbstick thing. So now you have the two main characters, a bird and a fish, that at the end of this le at the end of the level become a dragon. So it's the third lifetime, third level. As you hear, see, beginning here, you control the two two analog sticks you have to pass through these without without touching out of them so you can see I'm doing some of them good some of them bad it's not the best run I do not complete it I think here I go again with the bird I did it wrong collect those those lift up there there we go that was nicely done so when the bars on top they do fill up and uh, by you know grabbing these little balls and going correctly through the things once they fill up you get to press L1 and R1 and when you do that it does that you know like real faster speed you still go through these until these two lines meet and when they meet it becomes that dragon thing and then you end up the level as you saw before it's a good thing I recorded that before I added that bit from the second level because I do not finish this one I think but you see it's a bit of gameplay I think, uh, I don't know if I should go a long way with this or go all the way with it. Not doing a great job most of this thing. But it's a, it's a cool thing, I don't know. If I was to say it's close to Resogun but not even, not even really. Because like in Resogun you actually enjoy the gameplay and it doesn't tire your hands that much. But this is basically the two analogs all the time, moving them around as the mission tells you as so you know you see and you have to move this quite quick so I, I don't make a lot of these but the gameplay seemed a bit laggy I don't know if I'll be able to show it here but there was a bit that it just lagged so I don't know what this is but you know, it's the first time they made the game it's the first game so you could forgive them but I don't think it's good enough for a PlayStation 4 platform if it's not if it lags I think in, in this mission it lagged for me twice in this lifetime. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know how long I'll have to go because my internet is uh, real bad today and to upload it and everything and to try and watch E3 and stuff like that by the time it renders, but it's fun and after paying these 7 euros to 9 dollars, is it worth it? Is it worth the money you're paying for 7 euros? nine dollars pretty much is I think as long as you get used to it at the beginning you can't get used to it I can't I couldn't get used to it and in this mission I just just it just was going a bit too fast for me I think 
And it's got nine, 9 lifetimes, so it's got 9 missions. So is it worth that money? I think it's up to the person, but for me I think it's a good uh, enough game to, you know, play around whilst, you know, I don't know, you're waiting for your for your FIFA's, your Call of Duty's, your whatever's. It's, it's a g good game, you know, a bit of fun. I don't know if you can play multiplayer, I didn't try that out. But if you can play co-op, like two controllers, two friends, one controls one, one controls the other, that would be epic, but I don't think so. It's a good game. If I was to give a score and numbers, 6 out of 10. That's, uh, that's my score, I think. Uh, so I've been Dave Gaming. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch for live streams. Drop a like, drop a comment, dislike, whatever you feel like doing. Peace.